Okay, in this section, we already got everything loose. Now it's time to go ahead and pull off our back tail. So we're just going to slide it straight back. And there's also our, our rear brake light. We're going to have to unplug that. So don't yank it all the way off yet. We're going to stop when it gets loose and we can see it. We're going to unplug that. And then we can pull off the whole section. And then we'll be able to get to our undertail. Um, we also still have to do our under underpiece down here. We, we have an aftermarket part that's put on this bike uh, that covers it up and makes it nice and clean. So we're also going to have to take that section off um, in the next part. Okay, so go ahead and start back here and wiggle it forward. And we're going to check, make sure there's no any bolts that we missed. I guess you're just going to pull it back and up. Okay, you want to be very careful with this section. You don't want to crack it. Good. So instead of pulling it back, I just I just I was able to pull it straight over, and then now I'm going to pull it back. Okay, so the rear brake light it's right in here. Okay, it's going to look like that. So we're just going to go ahead and disconnect that by by pulling it forward and pulling it out. Okay, don't just yank it out. There are little clips. There are little clips in here. Um, you're going to pull that forward, so don't yank it out because it's a, it's a special lock. And that should release our tail section, and we should be able to pull it right out now. All right, and let's go ahead and finish pulling it off. Being very careful, we don't want to scratch it. It's painted. It has special aftermarket paint on it. There we go. And we got the whole back tail section off, and there's our light, and there's our brake light that we disconnected. Alright, everything looks good. Go ahead and set this down in a nice, safe place so it doesn't get ruined.